life as parents is everything we expected and more <laughs> on that's cue what Teddy on cue that's what teddy thinks it's just amazing we're absolutely loving being mums aren't we Kate? it's the most magical feeling in the world and we we're so lucky to have such a lovely little boy as well yeah, yeah we are it's really fun it's a constant worry you know you always kind of worry about everything but you know, those little magical moments are worth the white and gold. We definitely love him to have a brother or sister. And if we're lucky enough, then yeah, that would be fantastic. Yeah. Um, for him as well, do you know, not selfishly just for us, but yeah, for him to have a little brother or sister would be, would be great. Both decided on the way that we were going to do it, so reciprocal IVF, where Kate's eggs and then um, I carried. For us, this just felt like the natural route and yeah. we were lucky enough that it all kind of that went it down. it did work out and you know when you have all the initial scans and everything and the doctor was really quite positive and he was like well you know okay it's quality of eggs and my womb seemed to be all fine and yeah there we had it it, it did and it, it and it is and a it hard work but it is like you know it's a hardcore journey there's lots of ups yeah. and downs along the way and you know well every time you've hit like a milestone you get a positive result then you're waiting then for the next time and then the next, have oh, we got a, you, it's another hurdle, isn't it, that yeah. you have to get through. Um, so it is, it's a long, You're it's a roller coaster. Edge. Yeah, it's, just, it's always that waiting game. But you game. just have to take every day as it comes really yeah. and just take We were really step. positive. Yeah, we were, but yeah, it was um, all worth it because we got this little yeah. munchkin. <laughs> Teddy's dad, um, it's a donor um, and we've never revealed that before have we so i don't think so no there you are you have a little exclusive so we've obviously not it went through all right it went through the clinic yes we did it, it through the through clinic all the right process we had like a couple of it sounds very clinical when you say it but like cvs of you know of of when you call them cvs i know <laughs> but the characteristics you know of of uh, the man and um his values and family life we wanted to read them separately yeah. because we didn't want to kind of influence each other's decisions. and i burst out into tears when i read this first one and then i just said to kate right well i've read them both i said you see what you think and you read them and, and i just saw tears. her burst into tears <laughs> and i said you've seen the same one i have and we looked and it was the first one both of us read and that's we just Teddy's knew donor. there was a kindness to his yeah. words and we just thought you know what yeah. Above all else, we just want Teddy to be a little kind-hearted yeah. little boy who's got good So this man this loved, man, you know, animals and just yeah. a beautiful, you could just yeah. feel he was a beautiful soul. Yeah. When it's Teddy's, when he's 18, isn't yeah, it? That can, we can, he can uh, find out who he is and we massively yeah. back him doing As, that. I'd love to, I'd love to meet him just to say thank you so much for, for giving us, allowing us to be able to be yeah. parents and giving us the most beautiful little boy. Part of the clinic process they the the father the donor will write a letter to the child which is for Teddy to read when he's a bit older um, and I just think it's so important just for Teddy to understand and know how he came about yeah. and but you know also that this man out there wanted to help us in that and way. And it explained uh, in the letter and everything like why he wanted to do it and it was so beautiful the reasons yeah. um, and just the little letter to um, to like any future children that, it, that he managed to produce like so to speak. Oh it's just gorgeous, absolutely broke his heart, beautiful, beautiful. So Peter is my dad's name because yeah. we've gone obviously uh, I've taken Kate's name Brooks so we obviously Teddy was going to be Brooks and so we just thought oh it'd be lovely if he had my dad's middle name and then we just both loved the name Teddy didn't we? We did we we were convinced we were having a girl all the way through all the way through so boys names didn't really feature high up no. we were just a bit like oh all this or that um but then we both did love the name Teddy and we kind of wanted a name that was quite adaptable as well so you know Teddy's obviously really cute but you can call him Ted when he's a bit older. Yeah, or Edward, Eddie, whatever Edward, he wants. Edward, if he decides to become a hotshot barrister, you know, it's, <laughs> it's you know, the name's quite versatile, yeah. but it's still quite traditional as well. So, um, yeah, we just love it. And he's such a little Teddy as well. Oh, it me? just, and I know every name does suit the, every child, but, oh, mm. Teddy really does suit him. Yeah, I can't wait to call him Edward when he's done something naughty when he's older. <laughs> and he knows when he's in proper trouble. Edward. Edward. Oh, I think becoming parents has 
Oh, it's, it sounds like such a cliche, but I think it's just brought us closer together because you have to so work as a team. I know you work as a team beforehand, but... You don't it, sweat the small stuff as much. No. You know, it's kind of... Because, you know, like everyone, we, we can have arguments and, you yeah, know, it's far between. But, you know, you get to make up, so it, it's quite fun in the end. Whereas now, I think when we've got Teddy, there is a very conscious effort to not kind of raise your voice, not kind of bicker or anything, because you think, you know what, I don't, we don't want him to No, absolutely hear that. not. You know, he doesn't need to hear us, you know, talking about whatever, so. Yeah. We've, we've changed a little bit. I think we've grown up a bit more. Yeah. I, I, think, know, I know we're really old anyway, but I think we've No, grown but we have grown up, definitely, and, yeah. And now, you know, I think it's less about, you know, we used to book holidays together and there'd be, you know, oh, we don't know, lovely hotel and nice views and you know high up on a balcony and, and really now it's like has it, got a, has it got a mini club and uh, how many swimming pools has yeah. it got for children it's how uh, high up is it we don't want too high yeah, it's, it's wonderful but i love all that i love yeah. that side because we've not ever had that before and so we're, and both of us because we've done all that we've done all our kind of yeah. fun young crazy times i think now with with teddy we're just so we're just, we're ready just for loving it, it and we're, but we're yeah. enjoying it. You know, we're, we don't want to be out on a Saturday night. We want to be in. Oh, can't at think home, of anything worse kind of now. Playing games no. and sitting on rocking horses and whatever.